Hey everyone, I'm at the Black Magic booth and they just dropped a firmware load that lets you use the Black Magic vertically. DIY Photography's coverage of NAB 2023 is sponsored by Sennheiser, Jiayun, Small Rig, and BH. Hi, I'm here at NAB 2023 at the Black Magic booth with Craig, Technical Sales Manager for Black Magic. Hello there. Hi, how are you doing? Good. It's the, so it's the last day of it's the last hours of the third day. How are you doing? Getting there. Yeah, yeah, getting there. It's been really busy, which is good. It helps the time go by, but it starts to hurt the legs about now. So. Yeah. Well, you do have the softer carpet. It helps. It absolutely helps. Um, so you just dropped a new 18.1 firmware um, upgrade for the Pocket Black Magic. Tell me what's in there. Okay, so what we built into this firmware update, which is available now from the website for all of the Pocket cameras, is the ability to shoot in a vertical mode inside of the camera. So you can take the camera past a 45 degree and it will flip into a vertical mode for you so you can shoot in a 16, uh, 9 by 16 output, which we think will be a fantastic addition for people that are delivering to socials. Um, allow you to then use the menus and lock and set the camera in that mode if that's your preferred use. There's other side practical applications for shooting in a vertical mode as well. So you could be shooting for particular VFX plates or digital signage and that might be your preferred delivery method. So rather than having to crop that out of the wider 16x9 mode, you can just go straight in and set your cameras up and use that from the new update as of now. Okay, so um, just to understand, you could always shoot vertical on a BMD. So what is the big difference? What has changed? that requires a firmware drop. It more makes it cleaner from an operational point of view. So as you turn the camera into that vertical mode, the menus will follow with it as well. So we've redesigned how the on-screen displays will work. So you don't have to keep flipping the camera back and forth to make sense of using the camera. You can lock it into a vertical mode if that's your preference and use that camera with the menus and just have a cleaner experience of shooting the camera vertically. Metadata, will you put that in the file? Yeah, so when you take the files through to your post-production, say with DaVinci Resolve, they're tagged as vertical files. So when they come into the timeline, they'll sit there as vertical, and then you can output them. And as my colleagues will be able to show anybody as well, in the new version of 18.5 of Resolve, we've got a new delivery format direct to TikTok. So if that's your delivery platform, you can now shoot portrait and vertical in the pocket cameras, take it through DaVinci Resolve, and deliver straight to your TikTok channel directly from the DaVinci Resolve timeline. That sounds amazing. And uh, Craig, thank you so much for having us. It was short and sweet. Uh, we know that there is demand. We've seen quite a lot of devices out here to get your camera go vertical. Yeah. So obviously the demand is there. Don't forget to stick around. We're going to bring you more news and gear from the trade show floor. I'm Udi Tirosh, NAB 2023, DIYphotography.net.